Now let's go ahead and take another look outside. What's going on with that fog with Brian Hickey, who's out in the fog this morning. Brian? Yeah, Dirk, worst of the season so far out here. He's certainly confirming everything that you said about uh, missing those exits, really having to slow down out here this morning as I step out of the way here. And this is uh, Arden Way here right behind me. We're right at Arden and Howell. And the headlights pretty much almost emerging out of nowhere. Uh, the fog's so dense. Actually, it's let up a little bit right here where we are, but still extremely thick as you're heading out onto the roadways this morning. Add a little speed to that, and uh, you really start to lose those stopping distances out there on the area roadway. So. You have to factor in some extra time this morning. Don't take it from me. Take it from the folks we talked to that also verified it is nasty out here. It's, it's, it's horrible. You know, I actually, this morning I was on 99. I was traveling 40 miles an hour. Visibility was horrible. I mean, it was, it was pretty freaky. I've never been in fog that bad. It's, it's kind of uh, sketchy right now. You know, people, I, I have a commercial driver's license, and people have a tendency to think, well, if this guy in front of me is doing 55, I'm going to do 55, you know, and it's safe, it's not, you know. And we got some people that are a little too scared with flashers on, it's kind of a uh, hazard. Yeah, I think about that guy. He drives a 90,000 pound truck talking about trying to get things stopped in a hurry. This is the Walgreens across the street here at Howe Avenue. A moment ago, we couldn't even see the Walgreens. That's how thick the fog was out here at the corner of Arden and Howe, where it continues to kind of blow in and out of the area. So be careful out there. We already saw one pretty big crash out on the causeway early, early this morning. And uh, hopefully that'll be the only one. Live out here along Arden, I'm Ryan Hickey, KCRA 3 News.